Hello and welcome back. We're now moving on to part four. Part four, we're going to cover functions. Now, in most of these tutorials, I'm doing my best to break things down into the smallest um, <clears throat> the the smallest blocks of information possible. Um, functions is going to be one of those areas um, that I should warn you. It's kind of hard to uh, it's kind of hard to swallow them all at once, but we're gonna have to try. Okay, <clears throat> so a function is basically just a block of code that you can call by name, that uh, that you can call anywhere in your script um, to prevent you from having to rewrite the same code over and over again. Okay. So let's take a look at how that's done. Um, first we declare it as a function. Easy enough. Um, now let's give it a name. Um, my fun. Sure, why not. Um, inside here uh, is where our arguments are going to go. What is an argument, you ask? Um, besides the common definition, um, we'll get into that in a minute. Okay. Uh, inside our function, uh, we're going to say hello uh, from the function. All right, and now we have a it's a basic function. Now, what that means is that anywhere in our code, we can type in my fun and uh, have that code block run. In fact, we'll do it twice just to show the point. Okay, so let's save. Come over here to Firefox and refresh and you can see that it says twice hello from the function. Not a problem. Okay, now functions can, this one does not return anything, but a function can return um, return a value. So let's say return one. Okay. Now that means and that this function is now worth one. Um, let's change this to x equals my fun. And let's see what happens. We refresh and you can see that it still echoes hello from the function. We don't see our one anywhere, but that's because we have not used it. So let's go ahead and use it real quick. Let's say echo. Um, let's go ahead and add a, a break in there so that it'll be on a different line. Let's echo x. And so our function has now actually done two things. Uh, first of all, when it runs, it echoes hello from the function and it returns the value of 1 which we've set to x. Sounds more complicated than it is. So let's refresh and we say hello from the function and now we print x and x is equal to the number 1. Okay, so this is an example of a user-defined function. There are also many many functions already built into PHP and for those, uh, you're going to want to um, familiarize yourself with with a with the PHP website, which is php.net. Um, let's go ahead and use one of those um, those uh, built-in functions in our little script here, and I'll show you how they work. Basically, they work the same. Um, the difference being just that you don't actually have to define the function anywhere, it's just built into. So let's use the function ram, which actually um, has a, <clears throat> which creates a random variable. Um, you can see here that uh, on my little uh, code tips on the uh, Optana, it's telling me more about rand, um, and you can see that it has two arguments, min and max, um, and it returns a random number, which we already knew. Um, so 
what this means, these arguments, is that we're going to actually be feeding it some information in between these uh, parentheses signs. So let's get rid of all this stuff and uh, re-add that. So our minimum, let's say, is going to be 1, and our maximum is going to be 6. So this should give us a random number somewhere between uh, 1 and 6. So go back over here and refresh and it shows nothing because we haven't echoed our X to the screen. So let's echo our X, come back over here and refresh and we have the number 3. <coughs> now because RAND actually creates a random number, uh, when we refresh it again it's a different number and a different number. It's basically like rolling, kind of like rolling a six-sided dice right now. In fact, let's go ahead and try and put this to use um, and uh, bring this all together. Okay, so let's change my fun into roll dice. Okay, and inside a roll dice, let's say Let's take this thing right here and cut it and replace this area and put it right there. Let's cut our echo statement out and replace that. <clears throat> and now, in order to roll some dice, um, all we have to do is type in roll dice and it should give us that number. Um, let's go ahead and roll dice five times. Uh, we do want it on different lines, so let's go ahead and put our, our break in there. And uh, did I say five? I said five. All right, one more. <clears throat> and so in theory, what our code here should do is call our function roll dice five times, which inside of that function it sets x equal to rand one, anywhere between 1 and 6, and then just echo that to the screen. So save it, come over here, and look at that. We have five random numbers generated through the rand function, and print it out to the screen. Okay, now while we're talking about functions, it is an excellent time to um, introduce the website php.net. Um, I will warn you before you ever go there, um, at least this was my personal experience, when I first looked at the site, the two things that really struck me is one, that it was kind of ugly, no offense guys that do php.net, um, but it is, um, and two, that uh, there's just, uh, it seems like an overwhelming amount of information.